What's the best thing about living in Highlands, Scotland? The quietness, solitude and scenery. It really is. There's the hills and the glens and the beach and the lochs. Now everybody knows I'm quite an outdoorsy person, aren't I? Yes, you are. I'm quite adventurous. I like being outdoors. And I like exploring. And I like you to come with me, but... I like to go. It's a bit old. <laughs> My knees, it's my knees. Well, it's not just that. I mean, the signs are there that Sean's getting on a bit. He says thingy all the time because he can't remember what things are called. It's because of that thingy over there. Yeah, exactly. It was on a website the other day and he had to put his date of birth in. And you were spinning that mouse so much you were like you were on Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> but it gives us that, not Ian McKenna. Ian McKenna. It sounds like that. Dilemma. It's like a dilemma because... We like to go out and do things together, don't we? We do. It's like that advert, do you remember? We want to be together. <laughs> we want to be together. So I came up with an idea, a cunning stunt. <laughs> where we might be able oh. to get Sean out exercising without his knees just crumbling to dust on the first hill. Yes. So we've got ourselves a couple of e-bikes. We have the fab! It, Sean thought an e-bike was like something virtual online. I did actually, kinda, yes. Yeah, that you no, ride didn't. online, didn't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> now, I've already got a couple of bikes. I've got a gravel bike, which I go out exploring on my own with. And I've also still got that old mountain bike that I had on Narrowboat Silver Fox. Yes, he has. Do you remember the one where the bloke came and tried to nick it when we were in Nantwich? And you ran after him naked? I ran. No, I had my underpants on. You had your on. pants on. I was running down the towpath, chasing him in my thundercrackers and shouting. Thundercrackers? <laughs> So today, we're going to go out on our new e-bikes. We are. Uh, the ones we've got to try, well, the box is over there. <laughs> uh, it's a Himiway Cruiser 2 fat bike. Fat bike? Yeah, it's not what I thought it was when I ordered it. I'll tell you why it's called a fat bike later. You'll see why. Now, Sean wanted to build it, but... He never reads the instructions. I'm he kinda, clueless. Yeah, you're like Homer Simpson building that barbecue, aren't you? I, I, yes. He just basically empties a box onto the floor and tries to work it out like a jigsaw puzzle. I can't be doing with reading stuff. It never ends well. So I'm going to build it. It's well packed, but the bike does come part assembled. I just need to put the handlebars, the front wheel, the lights, mud guards, and a couple of other bits together. Now you do get a multi-tool with the bike, but I've got my own socket set and spanners here just to make it a bit easier. Because the multi-tool's a bit small for my massive clumsy man hands. And that's finished. Now this is the reason I think it's a great bike for exploring the Highlands. The tires are four inches wide, so you get really good grip on gravel, sand and snow, which we've had quite a lot of recently. This 840 watt hour Samsung battery should get us anywhere between 35 and 60 miles per charge. All set. Are you glad I built it now? Yes. You can go out in confidence knowing that the front wheel's not going to fly off when you go down a hill. <laughs> he says, fingers crossed, touch wood. Oh, speaking of which, have you got any protection? Yes. For your head, I mean. <laughs> because winter jumpers are not really good cycling attire, are they? These are not, no. Shall we go get ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Well, you said get protection. <laughs> you look like you're off Dad's army or something. And you got a proper bike helmet. I have. Where is it? It's in there. Right, you stay here, I'll go get it. There you go. <sighs> My knees are getting bad doing all that jumping. There, I'm done. What do you reckon? Fab! <laughs> I love them! It's good to start off on the, the quiet tarmac road because you need to get used to the bike. Now, I mean, I've got a couple of other bikes. I'm used to riding my gravel bike out here and that only weighs about 9 or 10 kilos. These weigh about 32 and a half kilos, so three times yeah. what my gravel bike weighs. So. It takes a bit of adapting, getting used to it. But they don't feel that heavy when you're moving. Well, no, that's because of the motor assist, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it has got a, 
a Shimano 7 uh, set of gears, which is all right, but you still feel that weight, especially when you start going on an incline, don't you? And that's where the motor really comes in handy. Yeah. Now, the thing with that is it is going to use the battery a little bit quicker. Yes. Uh, but we'll see, because we're going to see how many miles we can get out of it. I hope we don't get stranded somewhere stupid. <laughs> top of, at the top of Ben Horn. <laughs> So we've done uh, we've done the the, the the tarmac road, which was pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, we've come onto the grass by the loch, which is again it's quite easy. I think we need to make it a little bit more challenging and see how well these fat tyres cope uh, with the with the landscape. The roads were actually very icy, as you can see. Yeah. It's, it's quite an icy day, uh, and there was a lot of ice on the roads, and it was fine on there. Didn't slip one bit. Let's take it into the woods and down the side of the loch. Maybe we were being a bit too optimistic. <laughs> uh, there's this really solid ice. I mean, you can see it is so slippy. And uh, we kind of came over it without thinking too much. And the bike went and just slipped off. Are you all right? My feet, my shoes are full of icy cold water now. I thought you were going to say icicles then. <laughs> a little uh, bit of advice if you're gonna go riding in the highlands in the middle of winter wear some gloves I sure. have he's got his gloves on and his hands are cold they're still cold I'm sure sure rivering oh <laughs> it's freezing but it has been amazing hasn't it it really is good I never really appreciated how much like fat tires help you keep your grip uh, behind us is Ben Horn. Is it Ben Horn? Ben Horn. Yeah, ben, I get Ben Horn and Ben Hope mixed up. Mixed up. There's loads of snow up there. Shall we go up there? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fancy taking it up there. But it's been amazing. Uh, we're just going to hop back on them. Uh, and we're going to get nearer home because the batteries are wearing down a little bit now. Uh, we've done 30 odd mile altogether. Uh, we're going to go on our way home so that if we do run out of battery, we're not too far away from home. How's your knee? Surprisingly good. How's your shoulder? Surprisingly good. Even if I do that? Yeah, it's fine now. I think it just hurt at the time. Famous last words when you were stood by the lock. Didn't slip one bit. Didn't slip one bit. Didn't slip one bit. <laughs> Lesson there is don't take any bike across <laughs> solid ice because it just fat tires or not. It yes. Just, it didn't look like ice, did it? Won't, it? No, it just looked like water. It did. I felt a bit sorry for you. I know I was laughing, <laughs> and I was like really proud that we caught the crash on two different camera angles. Oh, yeah, as so lo so long as it's on film. I did feel a bit sorry for you. <laughs> Some people might be asking, how much exercise do you actually get on an e-bike? Because it's got a motor, hasn't it? But you still have to pedal. You still have to pedal. There's seven gears, and when the assist isn't on, you have to pedal quite hard because it's a heavy bike. Yeah. But even when it's on full, you still have to pedal to keep it going, don't yes, you? you do, yeah. Uh, but it's up to you how much assist you have on. I mean, you had it on full all the way. Yes. I had it on, I, I kind of varied it. If I needed it on hills, I was kind of testing it. I'm I, lazy. I got a few more miles than you did because I, I left him behind. I was just going up and down the road just to see how far I could get. <laughs> he got 42 miles out of a charge. I got 49. So that's like, no, I don't think there's that much difference, is there? No, not really, With no. the full assist on. If you go out as a pair, you need to just... Go but with the lowest. It was really cold. I mean, it was like bordering on freezing. Sun's <laughs> going in, it's feeling cold again. 
Uh, so, I mean, I think the batteries cope better when there's a bit more warmth, don't Probably they? do, yes. So it might have got a little bit more out of it. Yeah. Uh, by the way, we've put links to the Himaway Cruiser 2 bikes down in the video description. So if you're interested in one, uh, there's a link down there to take you to the website. And, and they you are can, cool. You can have a look. <sighs> we definitely need a lie down. I need to go to bed. A bit of corned beef ash and a, gra and a nana nap. And a nana nap. And a nana nap. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed your little day out with us. I say little because there's like three hours of daylight at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> but it is getting better. Sun doesn't rise till nine o'clock. Oh, if you've enjoyed the vlog, and if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the thumbs up button. <laughs> it's just frozen solid. And hit the notification bell and YouTube will let you know every time we release a brand new video. My mouth's freezing up again. Oh. If you want to support the channel, there's a link up above Sean's head, also down in the video description. Uh, become a YouTube member or join us on Patreon and get some exclusive content. It's just more rubbish. And all sorts of bits and pieces. It's not rubbish, you're supposed <laughs> to be selling it to them. <laughs> more rubbish! Hurry up, I'm cold, I wanna, I wanna go in. Can we in. go in? I, I wanna go in. We'll see you next time, it's time for a warm bath. Ta-ra! Ta-ra! Three, two, one and the Glen and the locks. I said it wrong again. What's the best thing about living in Highland, Scotland? That we've done this three times. He's only just put his phone down, forgot it. Ah, oh, gotta do that again now. It's like, hit off a shovel in it. It is. I'm glad you said hit. Don't tell me to wear gloves if we go out cycling in the winter in the high, in the, in the, in the, in the high, 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 high. I had to just stick my hiney in front of the screen, didn't I? That would make them all unsubscribe. <laughs> the eye. God, this is all just too confusing. I want to go to bed. What's that thing called? Whitney Houston. I want to dance with somebody. But instead of dance, I want to sleep. I'm with somebody. It's bed. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hairy plane above us. <laughs> There's midges. We don't get hairy planes. Look, midges. Yeah.